street today, we have the quickest and fastest charger in the world. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's impressive. Yeah. And it's not a Hellcat. It's not a Hellcat. <laughs> oh, and believe me, the Hellcat guys will tell you it's not a Hellcat. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So you got a base model charger here. Yes, it was an not, RT Plus. But not a base model engine, that's for sure. No, definitely not. The car is a 2006, some of the history of the car. Um, I purchased the car in 2009. At the time, I was working for Arrington Performance, and we decided to make it like a semi-shop car to race it in uh, one of the race series in their stroker class. And uh, we went out and won two championships with the car. Wow, okay. I sold it after that, and um, that's when they changed their classes to indexes, and the new owner ran it in 10-0 and did very good with the car, won, won another championship with it. He decided to sell it, and my wife said, uh, man, it'd be really neat to get the Charger back, and I'm like, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, got so, some sentimental value for sure. Yeah, so I negotiated with, with uh, the seller, and I bought it back. I went, I took it to the track, I ran it once, went 990 with it, naturally aspirated the way it was. And then we stripped it and revamped it into what we have today. So once you got it back, you put new new setup under the hood here. Yeah, Let's so... Let's pop the hood and check it out yeah, sure. while we're talking about it. Be a little, a little more unsuspecting without the blower sticking out of the hood. Look at that bad boy, Jesus. Oh. So what's the combo on this car? Engine, transmission, diff, everything? So this is one of our this is one of our uh, billet 426s. Um, it has a Proformance Turbo 400, Pro Torque converter. Has one of our billet differentials uh, that's produced by Hemitune Performance and Innovative Machining Solutions. Okay. Uh, American Racing made us a nice, beautiful custom set of headers. Uh, has Holly EFI, Precision Performance Shifter, Drive Shaft Shop Carbon Fiber Drive Shaft. Okay. My favorite part of the car right drag, here. Drag pack my blower. Drag pack blower by Dustin Whipple himself. So how fast do you spin that thing? What, what kind of boost you got? Um right Roughly. now it's we're about twenty-two pounds. So and plenty of room for, to grow. That's good for about thirteen hundred horsepower of the wheels, something like that. My calculations right now she's making about fourteen hundred. Okay. Yeah. With that much weight going yeah. seven sixties, yeah. it's gotta be some power. Yeah, it's it's that's for it's sure. pretty gnarly. Yeah. The quickest has been in the quarter is, is 767 Jeez. at uh, 179 and change. And how much weight was that at? It was 4,115 pounds when it ran 67. 760s. Yeah. And that's with spray. Today you're not running spray no, on the street no car takeover today. class. That's very impressive. I, my favorite part about it is the fact that it's the quickest charger in the world and it looks like this. I mean, it's got the stock body on it. Yeah, You'd expect to have the big wide fenders and the Hellcat look. and. It just has a hell of a lot of power into the hood, that's for sure. Well, thanks for letting me check out the car. Oh, no, uh, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Definitely. Right. Good luck today. Thank you. All right, the world's fastest charger is going up against a Tesla Plaid, which used to be the world's fastest car, period, out the box. So, ET-wise, the, the Charger should have this pretty easily, but if he spins or something like that, Tesla could get him, so we'll see what happens. for a message from our sponsor, Ourselves. If you haven't been to 1320video.com for a while, we've got over 100 merch items on there, t-shirts, hats, hoodies, including our new Turbo Drip design, my personal favorite. Check out the website, links in the description. It helps us bring this coverage to you. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. You ran a 12? I didn't see the ET. Ran 812, 170. We took a good bite of apple there. Forget it. You guys would never let me live it down getting beat by the <laughs> Yeah, you could not get... You could not when lose I, your when Tesla. I let go of the brake and it hit, I was like, all right, like, we good. New that's, personal bet record. That's a new personal break. best blower only for this. Nice. Yeah. That's flying. Yeah. Almost in the sevens on blower only. Yeah, yeah, 12. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's nice. Well, like we were talking this morning, like, I would have been happy with a 30. Yeah. But I'll certainly take a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you racing next? What's he running? 860. Oh, no way. Ooh, nice. Time to go. 
be a really good race. Home the win 171 miles an hour on that one. So I just heard over the intercom that is the fastest heavyweight pass at streetcar takeover history. And if you guys are wondering the, why the car isn't running 760s like it's done before, it's because you can only run one power adder in the class, so it's obviously the blower. And otherwise, I'd love to know what it'd run right now in this weather with the nitrous. It would be very interesting to see how much quicker it could be compared to his personal best. Tesla is here. You should have your dial in right on the Another one. Small tire, small tire. Yes, very nice. Small tire. I don't know what it ran. Uh, eight, 17, I think? 816? 16, okay. You went quicker before the past before though, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you have the quick the record. They just I guess they didn't notice it the previous time. <laughs> so not only the quickest charger with your nitrous run, but you got the, the class record too, so that's cool. One more car. One more round. Yeah. You know how fast the white car is? I think he went 80 in front of me. 80. Okay. So you got him by a way, too. 1099 with a one. Just keep doing your thing. One more 14. It can happen. Yeah. One more run. Right. Right. Like she was a little spicier for that one. A little spicier. <laughs> it couldn't do it. Yeah. So you end up with a bye to the final? Yeah, you know, he was good. He told me beforehand. So I, uh, he told me beforehand, so I, I figured why not? Let's see what we got. Yeah. It would have been cool to do all uh, blower only seven, but uh, another day. Yeah, another day. Well, thanks for bringing it to take, Streetcar oh, Takeover. No. I Congrats appreciate on you guys. the win. I appreciate you guys watching it all week. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you set the record for the heavyweight class for yes. quickest and fastest. It's not bad. Um, I'm at 812. 812, yeah, One. 171. <laughs> In this. <laughs> in this, yeah. 4,244 pounds. It probably seems normal to you at this point, but to me, it doesn't look like this car should run that fast. That's for you sure. You know, it, it, it feels really good, you know, too, when it does it. It's, it doesn't. Um, I bet. It doesn't. It doesn't feel out of shape or out of control at all. Super consistent, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Well, congrats again on the win. Hey, thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you. Same here. See you again soon. All right, thank absolutely. You. The Hemi Tuner Charger taking home the win in the heavyweight class. Congrats to AJ and his crew for an amazing performance this weekend and setting the overall quickest and fastest pass in the heavyweight class. Another unique car we found here at Streetcar Takeover. You never know what you're going to find here. Stay tuned to our channel for more weird, wacky builds. Make sure to subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you